Hello, I hope you are doing well. So we are going to try a new experiment. I saw this technique on Sherry Moulton's channel. I'll put the link in the description box. I thought it was great and the result is super beautiful. I'm going to use uh, these paper towel rolls. Uh, you can do this technique with uh, thick cardstock, at least uh, 300 grams. So, I'm going to use uh, this roll that you see on the screen. I'm going to do it in uh, mold really for a test. I'm going to show you the mold. And uh, this is my, uh, my trial mold. This is the one. Uh, I was really disappointed because it came in a more than average condition with marks, little scratches, and etc. So I'm using it for testing. If it works well, I'll do it on a larger scale, for example, for a tray or even coaster in good molds. <laughs> I measured the depth of my mold because you don't want your cutouts to stick out. So I already made a small cutout. I made three petals that I glued together. Of course, you can leave them uh, alone and uh, then arrange them in any way you like. I glued them together to see how they looked. So, you take your roll, you flatten it slightly. Uh, I know I'm going uh, to do 4 mm pieces, so I measure along my tube. And then the same thing on the other side. I draw a line uh, connecting the point uh, to go as straight as possible because uh, uh, it's difficult <laughs> to me to, to go straight. There you go, you take scissors and you cut along the draw line. Nothing very complicated. Your petals uh, should be as close to the same height as possible. I don't need much petal for the mold I'm going to use. I decided to make only one mold because it's a test. I arranged my petals to find the best uh, place, at least the one I like the most. You can of course choose the shape you want to give, a flower, a totally abstract composition, whatever you want. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell to, to be notified of my new videos. I'm going to give these petals a little bit of peps since they'll be seen underneath, underneath, which will actually be the top. I hope that you follow me. So I prepared a plastic plate, uh, some gloss varnish from Liquitex, which will be my glue, and some golden glitters. I pour some varnish in my plate, and then my glitters, you see, and uh, you can use um, varnish or mod podge or even PVA glue. I take
take my petals it's better with and than with uh, tweezers <laughs> that i dip in the varnish and then in the glitters we check that everything is well glittered uh, we tap a little to remove glitters and then we let them dry I also glittered my three petals joined together. I prepared my resin just to cover the bottom of my mold and uh, I leave it clear uh, since it will be the visible face of this coaster. heat uh, with my heat gun and then with my silicone brush I track down the bubbles with this type of brush you don't risk damaging your molds you can find them on Amazon and they are very very handy place my petals in the mold so of course the glitter side down I might have some glitters floating around but that's okay uh, I try to remove the ones I see <laughs> and I press down a little bit so it goes down into the mold <music> like I have a little too much resin or on the contrary I should have cut my petals at 5 millimeters well that's okay I learn and I'm going to let it dry for a few hours for the rest I'm back so the resin isn't completely dry uh, all the way through but that doesn't matter too much it's still hard enough to continue. I'm going to use some shades uh, that I don't usually use since I'm not a fan of green. <laughs> I have Tilted Sparkles Pigment from Just For Your Lane, uh, Pistachio from Resin 8, Glitters from Just For Your Lane, X Strong Mint from Resin 8. And mixology grid glitters from Let's Resin. So I'm going to prepare my little containers and put on my mask and then mix my different colors. Now I just have to pour. 
So we pour in each petal, taking care not to overflow. As I filled a little too much my clear base, I have very little space in the petals. That's how you learn. And that's why I'm sharing my experience with you with all of the mistakes that can happen. Now you see it's kind of mixing. Well, we'll say that the top resin layer will mask that. As long as my colors don't slip on the clear resin, I'm fine with it. to dry. With the rest of the resin, I pour it into mold to avoid wasting it. about 20 hours later so as you can see I had some little spills that will certainly show on the place which for now is the bottom but by the looks of it it didn't spill into the clear resin which is a good thing well it's a bit my fault because I may have to put too much resin in the bottom and this mold not being of a good quality it also tend to sag anyway uh, these overflows of colors in the others won't show, at least I hope not, since I'm now going to pour black tinted resin. Here I am, I mixed my resin. I used R Pro for, from Resin Pro whose ratio is 100 for the resin and 60 for the hardener. As always, I put it all in the description list. I took the black paste from Mrs. Colorbear. <music> Mm -hmm. 
and then I simply pour over my petals and uh, off to the dryer. Well, moment of truth. Let's see how it turns out. I'm happy because there is uh, not glitters on the black. I am going to put on gloves to avoid leaving too many traces. So yes, I don't have too much glitter in the dark. And uh, now it is our coaster. Yes, I have some traces, but no. I'm fine. And here it is. It worked pretty well. I do have marks, but uh, these are marks that are in my mold. But really, it's super pretty. The little spills I had on the other side show up a little. Um, I have some glitters that have run a little in the other colors because uh, they are heavier. But overall, I'm very, very happy with the result. I learn what to do and what not to do. I can go, uh, I can go on to a bigger project. I really like the way it looks. And what about you? Leave me your opinion in the comments, please. And thanks for watching and see you soon.